YouTube while streaming Twitch. So, hey, now we know. Uh, on the Instagram of TNRC is um, the introduction video for tonight's race of TNRC round 11 of the championship um, at Mexico, the Autodromo circuit uh, Hermanos Rodriguez uh, first Grand Prix in 1963 as I just told and the last Grand Prix in um, 1992 the last winner around Mexico was Lewis Hamilton in the Mercedes we're gonna look tonight which um, driver of TNRC is going to win tonight uh, let's look at the last week winners uh, winner winner last week was Bird in the Alfa Romeo second there was Lord DNL and uh, in third place we had G-Man Glovestar the surprising winner uh, podium sitter of the last race moved to Mercedes and immediately got on the podium so well well done by him we're gonna look tonight um, for some more exciting racing and drama around the circuit Autodromo Hermanus. And you can go to the official SNRC, TNRC YouTube a channel for um, the highlights of the French Grand Prix also the Baku and uh, the highlights of the rest of the season are online on the YouTube channel and I am not able to join please let me join but yeah you can uh, watch all the highlights from there um, next week Monaco and all the other Grand Prix that are driven over the past few weeks are coming online too so Watch them, a lot of exciting racing and a lot of drama in them. So uh, I hope we get more of that today. The Mexico circuit, long start finish straight, um, overtaking opportunities in turn one. And then with the fast left right, um, with the rest open, we can see some moves into turn three four turn four that are probably the main overtaking places during this race uh if you're ballsy enough the s section uh after the s section you can drs and uh overtake there but you need to have full speed uh and stay behind a car in dirty air do, uh, through the s's so it would be a hell of a job to take uh, make an overtake happen there. Uh, we saw last, ra last night in a Wednesday racing league um, that Panda overtook around the outside in the last sector, the, the small bit of the track. So uh, impressive work by him there. And we'll be looking out for some overtaking uh, tonight. And uh, at least it's not Monaco anymore, so... It's going to be racy. Uh, we have a lot of quick drivers. Exo uh, on form in the McLaren lately. We have Grimmy uh, in the Haas, the penalty king uh, in my eyes of the NRC. And we, then we have Bird, our last week winner. We have Dave still uh, getting used to his Fanatec wheel and um, was a little bit sick today, he said. All day sick in bed, so uh, he's just gonna drive and uh, get uh, as many as points as possible for Red Bull. I don't think he's gonna drive at the top today because it's more of a technical circuit and um, drives like Smitty, AMG, Bird, Grimmy, Exo, those are the guys that have experience around these kind of tracks and uh, the rhythm in uh, racecraft and all you need uh, around here. Then we have Mini Smoke and G-Man, uh, the Mercedes boys. What are we gonna see from G-Man tonight? Another podium, maybe. You never know uh, in his current form. Lord Ruiz, our league leader uh, in the McLaren, looking to get solid points again today. Repsy in the Red Bull, hoping for a finish from him. No spins today. <laughs> 
definitely no spins today. And then we got Roman, a uh, fairly quick guy. And hopefully he can get it clean and uh, finish high. TFA Jack, also a really quick driver. We will see a lot from him today. Mo in the Alpha Tauri, you never know. With Mo. Um, and loves a good lunch. And Renault is back again. Uh, back to um, fight for the top positions. And then we have Lord DNL, the second podium the podium sitter in second place last race so um yeah 15 drivers so far and we'll see uh, what's gonna happen tonight i'm excited for qualifying Slatenator is joining me after qualifying because he just uh was done with work so we'll see him at the race and he will join us then uh, in the meantime you have to do with me uh for the qualifying part and um for the people who didn't hear uh, heard it right now, we have an official SNRC, TNRC, F1 racing Instagram um, weekly post about the race, the highlights, and um, finishing positions in the of the races uh, are posted on there. Um, make sure to take a look on that uh, on that account and also the official SNRC. YouTube boats are filled with highlights of um, DNRC and SNRC and we hope in the future uh, WNRC uh, give us a follow also uh, makes us uh, grow as a community and uh, yeah We'll see what happened. It's going to happen. Uh, first sector, the quick right, left, right uh, corner combination. Uh, easy to invalidate there. I'm probably gonna see a, a couple of people invalidate in, uh, through that section. Then you got the slow part, uh, turn four, five, and six, technical section. A uh, good. Um, you need to get a good exit from tur turn six to go to the S section, and the S is, is um, I think, the most important part of the track because you, if you don't have the rhythm there, if you go offline, you're gonna lose like half a second to a second in that lap, and also the chance of invalidating during the qualifying is also very high at that part. Then you just gotta manage the, uh, those overheated tires in the last sector. Turn 12, uh, uh, turning right, then braking hard for turn 13. Easy on the throttle for turn 14 and 15, and then slowly uh, go on throttle if you go from turn 16 to 17 to the start finish. So yeah, I think we're gonna see a lot of invalidations. I got faith in the drivers, but I hope they can keep it uh, within the track limits today. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. There we go. Everyone is readying up. And let's watch this qualifying. What am I expecting for Paul? Uh, Smitty is definitely a contender here for Paul in the house. AMG also. Uh, I think those two guys are really um, going for the top spot today. Uh, you, meanwhile, you got Lord, the boat of the Lords, of course, are going to take a shot at pole position. And the uh, EXO, one of the fastest qualifiers around here in the McLaren. So we'll see what's going to happen. Let's see what tires everyone is going on.
and who's the first one to go out? Everyone loading the setup, making sure they put the right amount of fuel in the car and Roman is probably gonna go on the medium first. And uh, yeah. Probably checking for rain. The chance of rain at Mexico is really small. Uh, I practiced a couple of races here and never got rain. So uh, I think we're clear for today. Uh, not many people are going to practice in the rain. So uh, they're probably all all in for the dry setups. And, uh, let's see. Still no one out. There's a Red Bull. I think it's my boy Dave or Rapsy. It's Rapsy, first one out today in the Red Bull. He will be looking to set as, uh, the time as first. Uh, you, if you're quick, you can do four runs one run on the mediums and then three runs on the softs. Uh, short lap, probably uh, la around a lap time of 1.14, 1.15 today. So plenty of time for doing the qualification. I'm probably not gonna get everyone on uh, some air time because <laughs> there's a lot to watch uh, in a short space of time. Just gonna follow Repsy on his first lap. Then we got uh, then we got Smitty. After that we got Grimmy, and then we got the Alfa Romeo of Bird and AMG. But first we gonna watch on board with Repsy for this lap. Turn 16, 17 now. Good exit for the long straight. Speed of 330 kilometers per hour. Braking late. Turn 1. Then to second gear for turn 2. Turn 3. Cut the corner a little bit. To get a good exit onto the next straight in DRS. Really important. He isn't using his DRS. Purple, of course, first driver out. He's keeping it clean so far. But is he gonna keep it clean through the S section? Down to fourth gear. Fifth gear and to the left. Now swing to the right in seventh. Quick left hander. Oh, he almost lost it. Keeps it together though. Is he gonna finish the lap? So close to losing the car there. I said in the beginning, don't spin, but he almost managed to spin. Last corner, turn 16, on the throttle for turn 70. Tires are probably uh, at maximum heat and 118.7 for Repsy. Now we got Smitty, the final corner, and what time is he gonna set? Runs out of ERS, 116.2. Then we got Grimmy. Smitty two and a half seconds faster than Repsy. Grimmy around the final corner. What time is he gonna get? It's a 164, one tenth of his teammate. Next we got Bird around the final corner. Yellow flag in the final sector. Three cars behind each other. Bird crosses the line. AMG first place with a 116 1. Then we got. G-Man invalidates the next one we got an Alpha Tauri of Lord and Elm in the final sector up to third gear brake for turn 16 on throttle for turn 17 keep it close to the wall and in the fastest lap with a 159 and the next one to cross the line is probably going to be the Ferrari, I think, of Roman. He sets a 
17-2. Exo invalidated on his lap. Uh, Mini Smoke. What time does he get? 1.17.4. Decent time by Mini. And then we got Lord Request final corner. What is he gonna get? 169. One second behind Lord and L. Uh, professional pole position right now. Then we got a Red Bull of Dave. Also invalidated his lap time, I think. And G-Man around final corner with a 117.4. Not quick enough. Puts him in 8th place for now. And Mo is going to start his lap now. Let's see what Mo can do in the Alpha Tauri. Close battles of our Lord and Nell with a 115.5. Went for another lap on those uh, soft tires and improved even more. Probably felt there were, uh, was more time in it. Let's stay on board with Mo. Down to second, up to third. To the right hand, the purple in sector one. Keep it. Ah, oh, he invalidates. Yeah. And TFA Jack also invalidates. Yeah, that's track limits around uh, Mexico. So shit job to take. Exo improves to 159 on his second fly lap. And G-Man is probably going going to go into his pits as well as Rapsy, I hope. Yeah, he's going slow. G-Man as well. So it's now we wait for the second round of laps uh, today. Mo probably is going to go for another lap. 157 he invalidated. So that would have put him in second place. Both Alpha Tower is looking solid if Mo can keep it within the white lines today. Everyone in the pits. Bird is the next one on an outlap. So at this moment in time we got Lord and L on provisional pole position with Exo with a 159 behind him, then 161 from AMG, and then followed by Smithy with a 162, and his teammate Grimmy by a 164. That's the top five for you at the moment. I'm expecting more from Bird. He did his first lap on the medium, so he's now gonna go balls uh, to the wall on his softs, I think. Keep it within the white lines, boys. That's all you need to do around here. So, did a third lap on those softs. Interesting strategy. And birds go and go. Turn 16, turn 17, and on to the finish straight. Let's go. Let's go on board with Bird and his lap. Revving the Ferrari engine out to the Max. He's gonna lose a lot of time on the straight because the engine is the worst on the grid. Down to third gear, turn two. Keep it within track limits, then cut the corner here a little bit, up to fourth, and then on to the next straight. DRS open. How is this first sector gonna be? Is two tenths up on his first sector. He needs to find a lot of more time to finish uh, high than 11th. Keep it in second, then up to third. Full throttle to the S section. Down to fifth, fourth. Up to fifth, then to the left, keep it in sixth. And quick right, left. <laughs> he is 1.2 up on his fastest time, will put him still in P11, so he has all of it to gain in the last sector. Fourth gear, down to third, final corner, turn 16, turn 70, keep it close to the wall. And he's gonna get a 161. Puts him P4. Gained a second and a half in the last sector. He lost a lot of time there the, on the previous lap then. Decent time by Bird. Close behind his teammate at the moment. So there's a lot of more time to gain for everyone here. I feel that we can, can get a low 115. I, I, I think we can get there. With these drivers. 
Got Roman on his lap in the first sector. DRS open. Let's see if he is a tenth up on his time. We'll put him still in P8 at the moment. Can he keep it clean in the S section? First, down to R. Oh, this is an invalidation. Yeah. Went too deep in the left hander. So we're going board with Lord Rikas, our championship leader. Can he keep it clean in the S yes section? Keeps it within the white lines. How is it his time? Seven tenths up. That will put him in P5 at the moment. Last sector still. Time to gain for him. Down to second. Up to third. Up to fourth, down to third, second gear momentarily. And now down over the finish line. 1.16.0 will put him in P3 at the moment. Behind his teammate, Exo. Then we go on board with Smitty. We got first, we got Grimmy passing the line. Two tenths up in the second sector. Oh, he lost the car. 1.16.3, he lost the car. At the final corner, probably lost about two, three tenths there, so he can go quicker. Smitty invalidated. G-Man five tenths up on his time, will put him in P9 at the moment. If he can keep it clean to the final part. Turn 16 on the throttle on turn 17, don't lose it like uh, Grimmy did. And he goes 9th with a 1.17.0. We go on board with TFA Jack, invalidated his first lap, went for a second fly, went 1.15.8, I missed that, sorry. Invalidates again on his first, first flying lap. And then we got Mini Smoke, looking to improve on his first time. Cuts the corner a little bit, almost outside of the white lines. Using that Mercedes engine, full speed to turn 4. Ten, uh, half a tenth up on his time. Improvement by Roman to a 1.16.7. Still P9. Lock up for Mini. Up to 4th, 5th, 6th. Back to 5th. Keep it winning the white lines. Left. Right. And left. Yes, he keeps it clean. Is he up on his time though? He is still... A little bit more than half stand up. Final sector, all to game for Mini. Smitty goes P2 with a 1.15.7 after the second flyer lap on those softs. Final corner for Mini Smoke. 1.71 will put him in P11 still. Smitty went faster on his lap with a 1.15.7. Decent performance by Smitty. Roman uh, went faster on his second flyer with a 1.16.7. So we're gonna go on board with Lord NL for the final five minutes of the session. Repsy goes. Uh, no. Went up there. I don't know. Let's see. Lord NL, first sector. How much is he gonna gain on those fresh set of softs and improved ter track? One tenth for Lord NL. Are we going to see a 150 low? Oh, he went wide. No invalidation though, but he loses time there. Fifth, sixth gear, left hander in sixth gear. Keep it in six for the right, left. 7th gear, DRS open, is he gaining on his time? 2 tenths up, even though he made a mistake. Final sector, can he keep it clean? Right handed, 3rd gear, 4th gear momentarily, back to 2nd, up to 3rd. Ooh, Still keeping it within the lines. And a 1.15.3, but there's loads of more time for Lord Anel, I think, uh, during that lap. Got Dave with a 1.16.5 on the softs. Then we got outlap from TFA Jack, Lord Cass and Grimmy. There goes TFA Jack. 
His final chance this qualifying session uh, did well so far. Third place for him, 115.8. He is four tenths behind the leader, Lord Anel, who did an impressive lap on the limit. All lost the car about four times during that lap and still managed to get that in that time. Impressive by him. Jack in his first sector. Is he up? Is he down? He's down by half a tenth. Ooh, can he keep it within the white lines? Can he manage the pressure of the racing point? Through the S's, he validated two times so far through the S's. Is he gonna validate again? Right hander, left hander, keep it in six, seven, right hander, left hander, keep it within the white lines. It's a quick lap, I think. Is he up on his time? He's <laughs> even with his fastest time, all for him to gain in the last sector then. The left hander in second gear, up to third for the right hander, fourth, back to second. Ooh, keeps it nearly and uh, oh, uh, almost the same time. Didn't win faster though. Lord Rikas then, championship leader, is he gonna go up to the front row? 1.15.8, he's on third place right now. Not on the front row for Lord Riquez. We got Grimmy. Half a tenth up in the first sector. Is he gonna get uh, half a second in the last two sectors to get on the first row? Oh, he's down two tenths. That's not good for Grimmy. Final minute of qualifying. Let's go. It's prime time now. Last corner for Grimmy. We've probably got the Alfa Romeo. Oh, Grimmy goes inside. He gives up on his lap. Didn't improve AMG there on his outlap. Got Smitty on the outlap. We got both the Alfa Romeos going for a flyer now. G-Man on his third laps on those softs. Isn't improving. Roman. Six tenths up in the second sector. That will put him in P6 at the moment. Can he keep those six, te uh, six tenths? Final corner for Rowan. One sixteen zero puts him P6 indeed. Smitty going on in his final lap at the moment. Lord Riquez invalidates, so goes inside P3. For him, Exo isn't. is half a tenth up on his first sector. Going on board with AMG. Also half a tent up in his first sector. Oh, and validates. Yeah, that's AMG done for today. P7 for him momentarily. Then Bird also invalidates. Lots of invalidation at the end of qualifying. Can Smitty snatch the pole position? One and a half tent up in his first sector. But we got Exo. Three tents up in the second sector. That will put him at P2 for now. Oh, he validates, so also not able to improve. So it's all on Smitty now. Only Smitty can keep Lord and L away from his pole position. He's two and a half tenths up. Ferrari of Roman needs to get out of the way. Final sector for Smitty. All to win here. Smoke behind Smitty. Also possible. Can he keep it clean? Final corner for Smitty. Oh, just. Ah, smoke improved by three tenths. Goes P11, beats his teammate, but Smitty half a tenth shy of pole position. That's a close finish between Smitty and Lord L. We got Mo to the final corner now. Can he do something? No, he's going slow, so Mo is just setting a time. We got Lord and L on pole position, Smitty just missing out in the house uh, by half a second. And then we got Lord Riquez on P3 with half a second too. And, and then Jack with half a second and then Exo in P5 with six tenths. Really close qualifying uh, today. Interesting to see what's going to happen in the race. Really interested to see what's going to happen in the race.
we got AMG in P7, Rome in P6, uh, Bird in P8, Grimmy in P9, invalidated his last lap, so couldn't improve. Dave in P10 has to start on the soft tires, 1.1 behind the leader. Then we got Mini Smoke in P11, G-Man Glovestar in P12, T SNRC Repsi in P13, and Mo Sullivan in P14. So close battle for pole position, half a second in it. And Lordanel uh, got uh, first place in the run of two turn one, and Lord Riquez in P3, probably the position you want to be in uh, around Mexico. Just uh, keeping that slipstream uh, behind Lordanel and overtaking Smitty and Lordanel in turn one. That's the goal for Lord Riquez, I think. Oh, it's rain! Oh, we have rain in Mexico. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> I said at the beginning that it wouldn't be possible to have rain, but uh, here we go, wet race. <laughs> this shakes things up massively. Oh my god. This race is going to take a long time then, yeah. <laughs> That's, uh, oh god. <laughs> so... Rain for the race. I said at the beginning it's not possible to get rain around Mexico, but here we go. I uh, jinxed the uh, commentator's curse, I think. <laughs> I'm interesting how everyone his wet setup is. Uh, did anyone go for a dry setup in qualifying to qualify more at the front of the grid? Probably not, because you don't want to be 70 laps around Mexico on a dry setup on a wet track. So I'm hoping everyone put in uh, <laughs> a wet setup. I'm really hoping for it. We got a short three minute break. Uh, we're starting about half past nine. And uh, hoping to get Sladenator alongside me before that time. You should be home from work any second now. And uh, we'll get back to you in uh, three minutes.
So, Slater isn't here yet. Uh, so we're starting without him. So we got Lord and L on pole, intermediate tire conditions. Smitty in second, Lord to in third, TFA Jack in fourth, Exo in fifth, Roman in sixth, the Alfa Romeo's in seventh and eighth, and then Grimmy in the Haas in ninth, and Dave in tenth, Mini Smoke in eleventh, G Man in twelfth, Rapsy in thirteen, and Mo in P14. So a wet race at the beginning. I'm interested to see where. Um, this is gonna go with the weather. Is it going to be dry? Is it going to be wet again? Is it going to get worse? Uh, everything is going to have uh, can happen, and um, I'm not looking at the Discord to see what they're saying about the weather, just to keep it as exciting as possible. And um, if Sladenator is gonna join, I will invite him quick during the race and uh, hope that he comes online in time. So, going to the final sector, we got uh, some slow guys behind with Dave. Yeah, of course it's Dave. <laughs> Always behind on the f uh, formation lab. Well, the rest is going into the technical section of Sector 3. We have... Oh, a spin by Lord Arnell. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> He's lucky. Damage isn't on during the formation lap. But uh, his tires are going to be overheated to the max at the moment now. Because he spun. He will not have a good start now. It is a golden opportunity for Smitty and Lord and TFA Jack if they can get uh, away from the line as clean as possible. Uh, it will help uh, them win and uh, get first place. And yeah. Let's see what's going to happen. If I can get my sound back. Spectator menu. Yes, here we go. Mexican Grand Prix, round 11 or 15 of TNRC, five lights. And they're off and away. Who's gonna get the best start out of the two in front? Everyone is wiggling around, trying to find grip around this wet circuit. Birds joining again. Then we got Lord and L in P1. Smitty on the inside. Who's gonna break the latest? Smitty is late on the brakes. Lord and L even later keeps it around the outside. And over the curb. Smitty still on the inside. Cuts the curb a bit. TFA Jack around the outside from P4. Oh, they make contact. They make contact. <laughs> we got Lord Request down the inside of TFA Jack because Smitty and Jack make contact. And we have Lord and L in P1 now. Second. Uh, 1.1 away from Smitty. Uh, then we got Lord Request in third. TFA Jack in fourth. Exciting start already. Contact between Smitty and Jack in turn three. Everyone probably is gonna go low fuel because the only thing you can do is <laughs> run and lean around here. Bird falling back even more. And Smitty trying to close the gap again to Lord Request. We have Jack on the back of Lord Request. Smitty is closing the gap on Lord and Nell. My bad. No DRS this race, so it's pure overtaking quality. And we can see AMG without a right wing. So he may contact with some somebody else. We got Dave. Excellent start in P6. Lost only one position there. You got Smitty in the pits. I know. He made a mistake then, I think. And Jack now in front of Grimmy. I think. Yeah, Smitty is in front of them. 
Lost out on Exo and Lord Jukes with his mistake. We got Lord and L. Oh. It says Smitty is in second, so I think the timing is wrong. Yeah, it's fixing itself now again, I hope. Yeah. There it is. Grimmy on the back of TFA Jack. We got behind them Exo in the McLaren and G-Man in P7 keeping AMG up with wing damage. He lost about uh, <laughs> half of his wing and he's still managing to keep up with uh, G-Man. And we got Smitty in P1, four tens behind Lord and L. Can he keep it clean in the final part of sector three? Onto the main straight. Who's gonna use overtake? Smitty, 41%. Lord and L with 60% using it all on the main straight. Have we got any battles behind Exo on the back of Grimmy? We got Repsy in the pits, first to pit today. Is it wing damage? Is it different tires? What is he gonna do? New intermediates. We got Mo passing Dave. Dave slowly falling back. Mo gained five positions uh, this race. Amazing start by Mo, also from G-Man, 5 positions gained, Grimmy also 4 positions gained. The best starts uh, from them. Bird on the back of SRC Roman, who's on the back of Dave. It's difficult to overtake in the wet, but uh, I, I will try to follow everything. AMG 4 tens behind G-Man, and we got... TFA Jack 4 tens behind Lord Riquez, but I'm watching this battle with Roman on the back of Dave and Bird who is gonna need to make a comeback. Oh, spin for Mini Smoke, he's off track. Those tires will be dead. Oh, what happened to Bird? Bird DNF'd, we got a safety car. A DNF on Bird, let's see where his car is. Oh, it's a round! What happened there? Drive through penalty for G-Man speeding on the safety car. <laughs> Pit stop from AMG, he can uh, change his wing for free now. And we have the first safety car on the race, uh, of the race in lap 4. Lord and L in the lead, Smitty in 2nd and Lord Riquez in 3rd. AMG and Dave are going to pit. Is Dave going to change his wing? Yeah. I think Dave was involved with the incident between uh, Bird. It doesn't say it, so it's a shame for Bird. He is not joining us anymore for the remainder of this race. Big crash from him. Uh, spun around, so uh, lost his tire. Uh, interested to see what happened there. Let's see if Slaydenator is online. No, he's not. AMG, 3 second time penalty on the safety car, so... <laughs> that's not so smart. Let's see. Penalties, drive through for G-Man, he can only... Uh, do that drive through when the safety car comes in again. Uh, we got the first penalty, the real penalty for AMG with 3 seconds. And I hope <laughs> it stays um, around 6 to 9 for him because we've got a long race ahead. Let's see, position changes. 4 positions gave from Grimmy. Exo lost the position. G-Man 5 position gain but has the drive to penalty. Uh, so he will fall back to last place and we get Mo 6 position gains in the Alpha Tauri. We got Roman lost 3 positions so far. And we got Mini Smoke gained 1 position, made a pit stop because he crashed and is still in P10. Decent job by Mini. 
We got AMG, the first guy with the penalty in P11. Then we got Dave in P12 and Repsy in P13. And I don't know what Dave doing. He's stopping in the middle of track. <laughs> Interesting tactic by Dave. It's on the safety car, so no problem, but... Uh, <laughs> Let's see... Uh, it seems to get a little bit drier on the racing line. Still way too wet for uh, soft, uh, dry tires. And is everyone going to keep his tires in uh, their tires in the optimal temperature around here? So that's the question also. I've never driven around Mexico in the wet, so um, I definitely not know when to pit. Uh, I do not know um, how to heat up the tires around here. I will probably spin uh, behind the safety car. I already did in China. So, is it in this lap? Everyone is behind the safety car, so it probably will go in this lap, I hope. Uh, yeah. No? Yes, safety car in this lap. Lord Anel controlling the pace. Smitty behind. Lord Jacques behind him. Uh, everyone did four laps on the tires. Five if they crossed the line. And I think they will go around 20 laps. Maybe. Maybe more. Maybe less. We'll see. When does Lord Anel bolt? Keeps it slow, keeps it slow. And he goes. Is Smitty awake? Four tenths now. And everyone went around the same speed. Grimmy on the back of TFA Jack. Let's see. Can he go down the inside? Oh, we got Reckless though with a pass on Smoke. He went off. Restart really quick and we got G-Man fighting with Mo for the 7th position. Grimmy still behind TFA Jack. Is he gonna break late? Late breaking by Grimmy down the inside of Jack. Jack keeps it around the outside. Ooh! Elbows out here. Elbows out. We got Mo still on the back of G-Man. Thinks better of it and uh. Slots in behind. Then we got Smitty. Three tens behind Lord and L. I think if Smitty overtakes Lord and L, he's gonna uh, can make a gap. But as long as he's behind Lord and L, uh, it's impossible for Smitty to uh, make a gap. We got Jack. Oh, on the back of Exo. He's going deep in the corner. Exo, Grimmy around the outside of Exo, of Lord Duquesne, I mean. Tire banging. Ooh, Grimmy, late breaking down the inside. Big opportunity for Exo in this battle. The McLarens are way faster on the straight. There goes Exo on the inside of his teammate. Grimmy still in P1. Uh, before, I mean, great overtake by Grimmy and Exo is now the chosen one to overtake Grimmy. We got Mini Smoke and Repsy fighting it out in turn one. Mini Smoke cuts the inside. Repsy slots him. The oh, Mini Smoke cuts him off. And then goes wide, so they will get a battle to turn four. Two. Repsy down the inside, or... Ooh, no, things better of it. No, he's down the inside. Side by side. Smoke pushes him to the side of the track. Then, oh, still side by side, late breaking. And Smoke keeps the position. Great battling between the two. Elbows out. Not let anyone pass. And we have Lord and L still in the lead. Smitty behind, 8 tenths. And we got a yellow flag in sector 2. Is it for... It's Repsy who's off. 
Oi, 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 oi. Repsy. Fast as level order now. I'm gonna invite Slater now. Quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Uh, invite the party, invite the game. He should be in in a minute. Let's see, are the battles on track? Grimmy behind TFA Jack, three tens. Good evening, Slater. Did you include your audio? Yes, great. Right, so I need to get into the lobby, don't I? Yeah, I've uh, sent an invite to you. We got a wet race. We got a wet race? Yeah. I've not got that invite. AMG down the inside of Mo. You haven't? No. Oh. Let's see. Can we send it? Uh, yeah. Let's see overtake done on Mo. The gaps are starting to get bigger now. Uh, Lord and Exo are the only one in one second of Grimmy. And we got Mo with in uh, one second of AMG. Lab 9. Lord and L in uh, first, Smitty in second, TFA Jack in third, Grimmy in fourth. on the back of AMG and we got G-Man on the back of Mini Smoke. Are there gonna be team orders or not? Yes, there are. And Mo closing in on AMG. Yes, I hear it. I'm hearing the sound. <laughs> yeah. Wow, so uh, how did qualifying unfold? So who qualified on pole? Um, Lord and L on pole, and Smitty in second, and then we got, um, I think, Lord Rikess in third it was, and TFA Jack in fourth, and uh, the difference between Lord and L and Smitty was half a tenth. It was uh, such a close battle in uh, qualifying. Was it a dry qualifying? Yeah, dry qualifying. I yeah. said at the beginning of, of oh, qualifying okay. uh, that the chance of rain is zero percent, but <laughs> now we have a wet race, <laughs> so uh, the gaps are starting to get a little bit bigger at the moment. We had a safety car. Um, we got Bird, um, who went in the wall, lost his tire. I think I missed it. He was battling with Dave, I think, at one point, and then lost it. Yeah, so Dave sits in P9 at the moment. Yeah, he uh, said in Discord that he was sick today, so uh, it's decent for him to be in P9. Then. Yeah, those essays would be particularly difficult in the uh, in the rain. Those curbs mm -hmm. will be yeah. particularly dangerous. But dangerous in the dry, not alone in the wet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, we got um, yeah. The close battle is Lord Rikess and AMG and Mo. Yeah, it's, oh. it, the stadium section is such a technical, tricky part. It makes the whole lap as well, really, because there's quite a long straights, isn't there? So you can make a quite a lot of time up in those in that stadium section. Yeah, 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 and you can lose a lot of time as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, all. it's it's where and I lose a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, same, <laughs> same. Um, 
it, it surprised me how little people uh, got invalidations. I thought everyone was going to invalidate uh, their uh, quali lap, but as well penalties. Not much penalties, only AMG and uh, Grimmy at the moment. So uh, every, everyone keeping it clean. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's still a long race over. I made uh, my race last night in the Wednesday night racing club uh, around here. Um, I suffered heavily with penalties, uh, as did a lot of people. Um, um. Oh well, ten, uh, ten laps in and uh, two people on penalties. Uh, we said it last week and then uh, it started to rain penalties, so I will not say it too loud. but. So far, so good. We got AMG closing on on Lord Recast now. Four tens behind. Used all of his ERS. Lord Recast on 80% ERS, so he can defend on the sides. Yeah, I mean, the DRS is such a powerful tool around this track. Uh, obviously, it's not in action at the moment, is it? <laughs> It's drying up though. It's drying up. We though. got Lord Recast. So, yeah, so Smithy's in the pit. Into the pit. Smithy's in the pit. It's dry tires time. It's dry tires time now. Excellent. Oh, that shakes things up. It does indeed. So let's see if um, Smithy and Grimmy, uh, every, everyone down to eighth, even Dave's in the pits. Down to 10th. Absolutely. Yeah, down to 10th. Yeah, well, 11th. Uh, Glove style. Uh, G Man's in. Will Mini Smoke come in? We I think Lord and L staying out. Yeah, I think Mini Smoke will go around again because obviously G Man, the uh, Mini Smoke is in the pits as well, so he'll, he'll probably lose time being double stacked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, interesting oh, to yeah. see if uh, S Smitty can uh, pass Lord and L now. Uh, well, with Lord and L staying out an extra lap, it looks That's really dry at the moment. So I think Smitty made the right decision uh, here. Yeah, let's see if he can cut into that um, into that deficit. And now we can see who got the pace in uh, dry conditions. Yeah, it's going to be exciting. Interesting. He's going to come in. He's going to come in this lap, isn't he? Well, what, what's the and he yeah, comes. I think Lord and is going to lose out. I think he is. I think Smithy's going to take. AMG as well is gonna drop back, I think. Yeah. Let's see, Smitty on the start finish straight. Yeah, it's a good, good still pit. in the pit. There you go. Yeah. It's we gonna be a, a tough leader. ask for me, Smithy, when he's out in front. Doesn't normally let it go in. Yeah. And who's this? It's Jack as well, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jack, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The undercut's been very powerful here. Yeah, I think Lord and L should have gone in. Oh, and he's cut the corner there as well. That would be a warning. Yeah. Ooh, he's losing the plot here. Yeah, it's going to take a while for those tiles to come up with temperature. The cars in front of him have had an extra lap, remember. Yeah, I think, I hope he's... Uh, oh, side by side, Exo and Mo. Mo overtakes Exo. Exo on the medium tires, interesting. It's gonna take a, as well. Yeah, it's going to take a while for those mediums to come up with temperature, but when they do... Yeah, we might get a bit of DNS now. Oh, sorry, a bit of... Yeah, right. <laughs> I get a bit of DRS. <laughs> <laughs> DRS from Lord. DRS. DRS, so yeah, the DRS will now come into play, won't it? Now we're on the... Uh, we're on the dry running. Yeah. Uh, Jack is closing in on Smitty, so Sm it isn't Smitty's uh, win uh, yet, I think. AMG closing in on Lord. Mini, mo <laughs> Mini smoke still out on uh, <laughs> wet tires. <laughs> we got AMG on the back of Lord. Now on the inside, easy overtake from AMG, Lord and L with a 3 second penalty. The moment it turns dry, everyone is uh, getting corner cut uh, warnings. 
MG up to P7. Now we got EXO closing down on Mo, keeping it win in within one second. Everyone is getting penalties now. We got Smitty with three seconds, Lord with three seconds, Grimmy with three, Mo three seconds, AMG nine seconds already, and G-Man three seconds. Well, you see, see Dave's finally. on the back, isn't he? Dave's on the uh, on the case of SRC Roman. Yeah, yeah. It's within finding six tenths. His, finding his rhythm in the, the dry, dry conditions. Here we go, out again. of ERS though. <laughs> there we go, the Alpha, Alpha Tori. It's an easy overtake, isn't it? Yeah, the ERS, way too powerful. Yeah, of course, you've got the second DRS strike coming up. However, yeah, this is one a lot. Yeah, yeah, well, the Alpha Tori's got it as well. He got uh, got the move done. Dave has no ERS left. Roman with sixty percent. Can Dave overtake? Dave needs to <laughs> save his ERS instead of using it all. Yeah, that's gonna come. Yeah, it's gonna come in handy later in the race, especially around here. It did yesterday in the race. Yesterday. Um, Everyone who had the uh, DR um, ERS did better in the later on in the race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he just needs to stay in the DRS of uh, Roman and save all his ERS and then over. Yeah, so Smithy's now got a penalty. Is he Smithy just got? A, I may not pick yeah. that one up. Also three seconds. So everyone in the top five now on three yeah. seconds of penalty. Yeah, there's only four. Four drivers who are penalty free at the moment. Yeah. Classic Dave. Roman as well. Lord Rick yeah, Kess, they they they, drivers. they ply they pride themselves on a clean clean race, don't they? And um Yeah. There's a yeah. lot there's a lot to be taken from that. There's a lot to be taken from that. I mean a lot of drivers uh, can take an uh, example of them, uh, like uh, AMG with nine seconds already. <laughs> and Lord Riquez as well in uh, SNRC, Sunday Night Racing, uh, is always penalty free, so, uh, so I think he's one of the cleanest I saw a nice mistake, So we've got Dave close battle with Roman. Interesting to see how long those softs are gonna last. Yeah, I was just thinking that. So, what do you think the strategy would be from here? Um, everyone's gone on the softs, apart from I can't quite see the tyres. Um, yeah, can we? I haven't, I'm not. I haven't got my game running. So, so an alternative view. Have we got tyres? Uh, yeah, Exo oh, on done. the mediums. Of course, I've done. What am I doing? Mediums, Roman on the mediums and Dave. Here we go. Sorry, that was, I'm, I was having a having a moment there. <laughs> I think um, it's uh, soft and then medium or soft hearts. I think one stop uh, at least from here now. Oh yeah, it's just um, my young lady here who's uh, watching this with us. Um, she's pointed out that the medium runners are all penalty free. It started raining again. Has it started raining again? <laughs> yeah, it started raining again. No way. It has actually. Oh. Yes, I can start to see it on the screen. Oh, God. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. Well, are you in the game? or? Yes, I'm, 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 I'm now. Yeah, yeah. Got, I've got detail now, so I can... Yes. Yes, it yeah, is. It's raining again. Oh... It would be good if this we could. Interesting. Yeah, it would be good if we could get Jeff and ask him what the forecast is going to be. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we're not, oh, we we gotta... we're not privy to Jeff at the moment, are we? In, in, in a commentary box. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Ooh, this is interesting for the race. We got Mo now on the back of Grimmy in uh, tricky rain conditions. 
can he make a move in the first DRS or the second DRS? He, he's made up a lot of the, the, a difference there, isn't he? I mean, it was 4.9 seconds when they come out from the from the first round of pit stops, and it's uh, yeah. 1.3 now. So he's using that Honda engine. Oh, smoke already going on the, the inter interesting. <laughs> well, it all depends what the forecast is going to be. He, 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 it's going to continue to rain, isn't it? Or is it just going to stay like this? If it continues, yeah, that's the question. If, if it continues to rain, it's a, it's, it's a. I think that is a, a good move because by the time everyone else has stopped, he's got those inters up to temperature. He, he's in the groove. He's, he's feeding the grip and the, the track. He might make good yeah. use of that Mercedes engine as well. Maybe, yeah. Maybe it's the best strategy. We'll see uh, if yeah. he can keep up. It's it's starting to come down now. Let's see what happens here. Is anyone going to come in the pits? Yes. What a race forecast. Everyone, uh, right? Everyone's coming in yeah, now. Smitty as well. Yeah. Billy Smoke is 46 seconds behind, though, this lot. So, um... Oh, well, he's not 40 seconds behind this lot, is he the Rabs leader? Rabs is on them as well now. Everyone is in. Everyone going on the enters again. Yeah. The question now will be... Yeah? Will be, will it be an inters intermediate race? Or will it go Ooh, to full west? Jack is going on the hearts. Jack is going on the hearts. Who's got on the hearts? <laughs> That's Jack. got to be a mistake. That has got to be a mistake. <laughs> he's he's clicked the wrong button there. He's, oh god! He's, he's a, he might be blonde. He's had a moment, isn't he? He's done for. He's done for. Oh, he goes deep. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jack, what are you doing? What is this strategy? <laughs> what is this strategy? Gets over. It's a um, lunacy <laughs> strategy, uh, Heisenberg. That's <laughs> what it's called. Yeah. <laughs> I've been smoking your crystal meth. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, it's the biggest mistake so far, I think. We got Dave on the wets in Monaco, and now we got TFV Jack on the hearts in uh, Mexico. He's got to come in again. Interesting. He? Yeah, he has to. <laughs> they're, they're struggling to stay on track on the intermediates. No, I think it's wet enough now. Uh, I could see it's yeah, it's definitely wet enough. Interesting, the gap between Grimmy and Lord is 11 seconds after the pit stop. I'm on board with Jack. No. I'm on board with Jack at the moment. Yeah, he's been overtaken by. But XO, XO yeah. yeah. I'll tell you what, he's making a good job of staying on the track. <laughs> Yeah, AMG now, around the outside. Yeah. Is he going to do it? Yeah. Raps is Ooh, Raps uh, and he's spun. Yeah, yeah. It's too much. Too much. Oh, God, Jack. <laughs> it's a quick driver. It's fuming. a quick driver, he's Jack. He'd be absolutely fuming inside that car. Oh, safety car virtual. This is... Oh, Jack. Oh, I, think that was for Jack. For, I think that was for Jack's spin. What did somebody else spin? So what do you think he'd come in now for? Some softs or um, do you think he might stick, <laughs> you think no, he might stick, on, the, think he might stick on the right tyre? <laughs> he's put the full wets on. No. <laughs> he's put the full wets on. Wow. Oh, God. I'm speechless. <laughs> might be a good move though. It might be a good move. <laughs> we, can, we can laugh, but maybe, maybe. He knows what it's going to uh, do with the weather. We don't. <laughs> interesting, interesting. It's intermediate set this moment in time, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, no. He's struggling we'll there. You can tell he's struggling to get the power down coming out of... Out of turn four. If, if G-Man overtakes him, he, he made the wrong call, yeah. We'll see now. Goes deep. Yeah. He's gaining. He just can't get the... Um, he's getting understeer, isn't he? He just can't get the car turning into the corner. The front end is not biting at all. No, he keeps the gap honest. Eight tenths. No, he's... Uh, no Whoa. Grip. 
The back end's looking twitchy there. Yeah. It looks wet, so... Maybe. If he gains on uh, Roman, it might be the best call he's ever made, so... Uh, <laughs> we'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, let's keep an eye on times there. That's a good call, Heisenberg. That's a good call. It's, um, so, what's the gap at the moment? 3.3. 3.3. Yeah, it's increasing at the moment. Uh, it's stabilizing. 3.3 still. It's on the edge of wet condition then. He's gaining. Absolutely. This could be. Not much. He could have gone from the absolute. Lunacy to the genius in three laps. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's hope. Let's hope for it. I mean, it's wet. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, it's gonna. Is, is it wet enough? Well, when to cross over, really? When to cross over from intermediates to wets? But yeah, he's he's holding. He's holding. He's holding on. Yeah. Yeah. We got Dave on the back of G Man now. Yellow sector 2 and 3. Smoke. Ooh, it's interesting because G Man is keeping up as well. And he's not losing time, uh, time on Roman. Yeah, and they've both got Mercedes power in the back of those cars, haven't they? So they're pretty yeah. equal in terms of engine power. Um, down those straights, it would be, it'd be in yeah. sections like this that would make the difference. Mm -hmm. And uh, the exit here, of course. Yeah. The long and he's not start he's not, straight. Yeah, he's not struggling there, is he? He's, well, here we go, yeah. Uh, he's losing. Uh, G-Man, here he, he goes. He's the wrong call. Mm. Going right inside. In. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh. Side. oh. Ooh, that's no. close. But can he slow it down for that? It's a tricky set of corners, these. Dave now on the back of G, man. Oi, oi, oi. We're going to see a battle here. Dave yeah. on the outside. No. Oh, G man down the inside. Oh, could he stop? He spun oh. and he's done oh, his he wing. wing. He's lost his front. Right end plate. Oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't Close need. You can see that there, can't you? Look. Yeah, a lot of damage. He needs to pit now, especially in this condition. These conditions. Yeah, don't jump up to place. Yeah. Through those S's. Yeah. Through those S's, you don't want to be losing. And you can see the damage there. Yeah. I wonder what a G-Man will do. Will he pit him? Will he come in pit for Wets? Do you think and repair that? <laughs> well, I think I don't think Wets is the, the way to go. <laughs> Looking at Jack, he's losing time now. Five <laughs> seconds for smoke, speeding in pit lane. Maybe maybe smoke is gonna go on the Wets. So at the front we've got Smithy still, the gap is uh, 1.7, yeah. uh, then it's quite a big gap to Grimmy, but that's a good drive by Grimmy so far in, in the in the Haas, isn't he normally? Yeah, yeah he's yeah. in the Haas again, yeah. Only six penalty uh, seconds today for Grimmy. <laughs> it's decent. It's decent for, 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 for Grimmy, absolutely. Close battles. We and look at Smithy as well. Now. Smithy as well. 24 laps in, three, three second per day. Much better than he was last Also, week. very decent, yeah. And AMG calmed down as well with penalties. Oh, yellow flag. It's Jack, he's around. Oh, those wets are leaving. <laughs> Yeah, that still think it was worth the gamble, though. Yeah, but he had such a good starting position. He and, did. Uh, yeah, it was. 
P2, was he? And he, he started P4, then went up to P2, and now lost it all. <laughs> that's Formula 1. Yeah, that's Formula 1. That's tricky conditions. Yeah. And looking at the position gained, Mo gained 10 positions so far, and Grimmy gained 6 positions. Yeah. G-Man on two positions. Dave is up one position. I think Dave will be looking for a, a few more. He's had a, a clean race so far. And the concentration you've got to have around, around here, and I, especially through the stadium section and at the end of the straight, when you've got the sequence of corners, when it's raining, You've got to be on your. Oh, yeah. You've got to have your breaking point, your turning point, spot on. Other, yeah. Otherwise, you're facing the other way. You're on the grass. Yeah, the smallest mistake, and uh, you're facing the other way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's hard because you, you, you're spending 20 seconds on on that long straight, doing nothing, and all of a sudden you're breaking yeah. from 200 mile an hour down to down to 30 to hit turn one. Uh, yeah. You got uh, the tires cooling off, the brakes are uh, cooling, and then you got to go full send in the turn one, so it's difficult, yeah. But Smithy has increased that lead over Lord Denel up to 2.7 now. Yeah, the close battle is AMG. I'm interested to see what the rain is gonna do. So let's see. Lord and L 2.2 behind Smitty. Yeah. Yeah, but they like say it's, it, that can disappear fairly quickly. Um, Grimmy is keeping it respectable in P3. Mm -hmm. For sure, yeah. And uh, oh, now within two seconds, one mistake from Schmidt and uh, yeah, that ex now. exactly what I was trying to say. Yeah, is just you miss your your, your breaking point, you turn in a little bit too late or, or too early. Um, mm -hmm. you can change the race there getting that power down yeah the intermediates is a better tyre at the moment isn't it yeah yeah Jack yeah Jack keeps losing out so uh, I think he's gonna stick with it maybe he knows something we don't know but uh, yeah intermediates is the way to go at the moment absolutely I'm just gonna uh, Nip for a comfort break, I'll be back in a, a minute. Yeah. Yeah. So we got Lord and L within two seconds on Smitty. And then we got Grimmy in third, ten seconds behind uh, Lord and L. That's because of the double stacking at Haas. Uh, one of the worst pit stopping teams uh, around uh, Formula One. So you have uh, then Mo in fourth, gained. 10 positions so far. 2.2 um, behind Grimmy. Exo in fifth. Uh, started in fifth as well. And then we got AMG in sixth. Lord Request, the championship leader in seventh. Then we got Roman in eighth. Dave, uh, Sick Dave um, in ninth. Then we got G Man in tenth place. Jack with the most lunatic strategy of all in uh, 11, then Mini Smoke in 12th. Then we got Repsy with a DNF in pit stop in pit lane. Oh, Smoke almost lost it. He's struggling with that Mercedes. We, and then we got the DNF, the crash from Bird. Uh, still don't know what happened there, but um, he was out around lap 4. And uh, second in the championship, so Lord Rikes can gain points uh, on Bird. So, yeah, it's a shame for Bird, but that's racing. One small mistake and you're out. 
and Lordanel is still closing down the gap on Smitty. Tenth by tenth, it was two seconds a lap ago. Now it's 1.6, 1.7, 1.4. Yeah, that it's tricky in the last sector. One uh, spin of the rear tires, and you lose about a half a second there. But Lordanel keeps it clean. Now with it 1.1 using all of his ERS. Smitty got 17%, Lordanel got 10%. A half a second now, it's closing in. Lordanel right on the back of Smitty now. Within half a second. Turn 2, then turn 3 onto the second straight. Smitty goes a little bit wide. Lordanel, 6 tenths behind Smitty. No ERS, both of them. Down to turn four. Grimmy with another three second penalty. So we have a fight for the lead on the hands now. Smitty on the pressure in the Haas. Can he keep his car within the white lines and as quick as possible as well? We're gonna look through the S section where dirty air comes into play. Lord and L. Oh, Smitty lost it! Smitty lost it! Oi, 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 oi. Lost it on the second part of the S's. And we got Jack. Another spin from Jack. Lost his front wing. And we got a virtual safety car. Because of the spin of TFA Jack. And we got a new leader in Lord and L. Uh, Smitty lost it in the beginning of the S section. And Lord and L overtook Smitty. And Jack lost it all with another wing change and another new set of tires. Virtual safety car. Wow. Yeah, it's been an eventful race for Jack, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you made the race so far. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, he's, he, he's, he's tried to provide us something to talk about, which is um, we thank him for. It's, it's nice. Uh, content creator. <laughs> And uh, Smitty lost it on Lord Anel. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, right. like, like I said, that can change very quickly, and obviously it has. Yeah, he lost it in the first uh, section of the S, and uh, Lord Anel immediately overtook him. Drive through for Mo. Speeding on the VSC. There's always one. There's always one, yeah. <laughs> It's usually me. <laughs> I did it as well, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. I think all all the best drivers did it once. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it happens. I mean, it, it does happen. You're trying to concentrate. You 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 concentrate in. You you trying to not to break track limits. Even you know, it's harder sometimes to go slower, and it's faster. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. And sometimes you take your like, you take your eye off that, uh, that 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 time limit up there in the right hand corner or where you have it on your screen. Yeah, I've fallen foul of it a few times, especially this season. Yeah, I think I've had two. <laughs> the worst thing is when you got a drive through and it's safety car conditions, you can't. You can't serve uh, it, can you? No, no, you can't. So that's the worst thing uh, that can happen to you. So let's see, Smitty is losing out on Lord and L now. Yeah. Um, penalty situation. Uh, three people yeah. without a penalty. Lord, Roman and Dave still clean. And... Um, it's Mo Sullivan. So yeah. Mo serving his drive through, I think. Yeah, he's yeah he's dry, he's serving his drive through at the moment, isn't he, Mo? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to be quick uh, on the restart and uh, just a little bit too quick, and uh, you're down to three position. They're struggling out there. Yeah. I don't know if it's getting worse or... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on board with Mo at the moment. I'm, I'm thinking to myself... Yeah, is it, w w what point does it become... A full wet? It looks wet. It does look wet. I still think it's intermediate uh, tyres though. It's on yeah. the edge, I think. Well, 
Yeah, yeah so... Dave yeah. closing in on Roman. Yeah. Let's see if he can keep it clean. No, oh, Dave he went wide he there, he yeah, he's, oh. again, he's getting, the the, he's getting that front end to bite, isn't it? That's the that's a key to a good lap round Mexico, he's getting that front end sorted. It could be a sign of the track getting too wet. If he oh, he's going slow, really slow. They're all struggling out there at the moment. The onboards, I'm looking on the onboard with Roman at the moment. Yeah, yeah. It's really downshifting cool. to get the grip coming out. Otherwise, yeah, a, a, a corner you normally take in second at the moment is a fourth gear corner. Yeah, it's oh, the everything to uh, keep uh, those rear tires uh, from uh, spinning. Because these 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 engines are very torquey, aren't they? The first, second, and third gear are. Really Ridiculously talky. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, and when you um, go in fifth gear, that's when you start to get uh, a feel of the grip around. Yeah, you know, in yeah. Bad condition. I mean, no, everyone is quite spaced out together. It's waiting for a mistake from someone. Yeah, we haven't got much. There's no battles at the moment, is there? Lord Lord Denel always pulled three seconds on Smithy. Grimmy, yeah, he's he's cut that he's cut that deficit to to Smithy by three seconds. He's now seven point nine. Uh, it was it, ten it and a half. It, yeah, it was ten and a half. Yeah, so maybe we can see a battle in a couple. So of maybe we can see a battle there in the next ten laps or so. It could be in striking distance. The uh, closest battle in the field would be ninth and eighth, and that would be uh, Dave and David one, Roman. Oh, smoke uh, going slow for. Yeah, it's a lap down, isn't it? So, Eisenberg, how f how far do you think they can take these intermediates? Where do you think they might be stopping, or do you think they'll go to the end? Uh, I think it's too far to go to the end, don't you? But it's too far. I think I think one more stop uh, yeah. is needed. Yeah, yeah. It depends. Uh, when we see people struggling, we'll know. Uh, yeah, know, we'll, know for sure. we'll have to keep an eye on the times. GFA Jack with a penalty. G Man, our podium sitter last week, just down in P10 now. Mini smoking last, struggling in these conditions. So we've still got 12 runners out of the 14 that started the race. Uh, in the conditions that started wet, um, went to dry and then back to wet, I think the uh, attrition is uh, fairly good. Yeah. It's a credit to the 12 people who are out there who keeping it out of the walls because this us think about with um, with mexico the, even though it's not a traditional street jack circuit lost jack lost it in the wall no uh, he's out so he's there's contemplators curse i spoke and said there's only two people who have <laughs> who retired and it's now free no safety car though only a yellow strange yeah, he binned it in the wall yeah, that's what I'm saying about Mexico. It's not traditionally a street circuit, is it? But the walls are fairly close. In certain parts yeah. of the track, you, you, you make a mistake and um, you're in those concrete barriers quicker and you could say, I've made a mistake. Yeah, and then and for the state of his car, no safety car, so <laughs> interesting by the FIA. Oh, we still got Dave two seconds behind Roman and yeah, that's Gordon the closest Hill. battle, isn't it? That's the closest battle at the yeah. moment. They're all quite spread out and they're all kind of having their own race at the moment. All concentrating on keeping that uh, car on track. Yeah. 
It's interesting, his Grimmie's using up pretty much most of his ERS. He tends to wet conditions not use it as much. Oh, like uh, Exo, he's uh, on 80%. Only using it on the straights, I think. Yeah, Grimmie's now using it on the straight. 3%. It's a interesting, both the McLaren guys uh, save their ERS and also Dave uh, on the 100% ERS. If you can use that on the straight, I think he can gain on Roman. Mini Smoke finally passed Jack. So we had two crashes, we had birds in wet conditions uh, in the wall and now we have TFA Jack in wet conditions also in the wall. And we're looking for someone to close the gap on someone at the yeah, moment. Yeah, we're looking for someone to take the challenge, aren't we, Heisenberg? We're looking for someone to grab yeah. grab this race by the, uh, by the balls and give it a go. <laughs> yeah. Give it a go. I mean, it's... Um, do you think in these wet conditions it kind of neutralizes the uh, realistic element that w we've got? Yeah, you're looking more to driver skill, I think. <laughs> yeah. And um, that's when you see people like Mini Smoke, G-Man and Dave uh, falling back and uh, the people like Lord and Nell, Smitty and Grimmy are uh, exiling in uh, yeah. these conditions. Yeah. They're like the Lewis Hamiltons, aren't they? They look when it rains they're like yeah bring it on and the max for stuff uh max for stuff of course of course well, I, I i i forgot about the uh the uh the other <laughs> raid master who's done two races in the wet yeah the the Brazil, uh, brazilian race was fantastic from uh max yeah <laughs> oh pit stop from smoke on wets is this the turning point yeah, it might be the cut there, uh, yeah. It might be the, um, the cut off now, might be. Might be now. I wonder what even the leaders would do. It looks wet, but. Halfway, Mark. Absolutely, yeah, we're halfway through the race now. Halfway, yeah. He's locking up uh, Mini Smoke, so. I don't He's know got nothing to lose right with smoke. Uh, no. <laughs> Just go for it. The best he's going to do is unlap ball. himself, isn't he? But yeah. <laughs> oh, he's locking up really bad. I mean, if someone can do a Dave and uh, or a, a Jack and go on dry tires now, it Bin it in the wall, it would be lovely. <laughs> so, looking at the penalty situation, Grimmy and Smitty now on 9 seconds, um, AMG on 12 seconds, we got the uh, race leader on 6 and EXO on 3 pe seconds of penalty. So at this moment in time, EXO can gain the most positions. Yeah, he's, at he, the end of the race. he's a net P3, isn't he? I was like, whoa, is he? Yeah, could be net P2. No, uh, yeah. He needs to gain a little bit on Grimmy. So we still got Dave, Dave now 3 seconds behind Roman, starting to lose time. Isn't it, isn't it funny you see um, from 7th, 8th and 9th, no penalties whatsoever, and all, all of them yeah. are all in sequence. Yeah, and all, um, you can see that the, the guys that are cutting the corner are gaining the most time of it. Yeah because they're like 20 seconds behind but they're clean though so if there's a safety car now and they close up yeah they're gonna uh, gonna gain that's a, a very good position. point Heisenberg yeah if there's a yeah. safety car now yeah they're, yeah they're, they're, they're laughing aren't they yeah. um, and that's what <laughs> sure. happened in our race yesterday there was a safety car 10 laps from the end and it closed the field up 
and it ultimately cost me the race win. It's yeah. mm. a shame. Mm -hmm. Panda won, right? In the Williams? Panda won in the Williams, yeah. I'll cross the line first. But That's all that matters. <laughs> yeah, but with penalties, I, I, I come second. Uh, it's something I need to eliminate out of my racing. Mm -hmm. You will learn over time, I think. Yeah, I'm still, um, even though I'm 47 years old, I'm still young to this uh, F1 racing. Yeah. Even though I've followed it ever I since mean, I was a young kid, F1, but I've not really been playing the games in leagues. Only for about 12 months, so... Oh, you know, impressive. Since lock, yeah, since lockdown, really. Since um, since yeah, about a year ago. So <laughs> you gotta you gotta do something in life, right? <laughs> exactly. I mean, uh, I think if for a lot of guys in our community, um, th they're loving uh, everyone racing during the week, racing with each other, and yeah, um, just keeping each other busy during this uh, shitty situation with Corona. Yeah. I think it's uh, the best getaway for for everyone here. Yeah, it, and it is. And, and, and um, Dave has been a great help to me in the last two weeks because obviously I bought my uh, all my Fanatec equipment in the last week or so, and I've had a yeah. few issues. Yeah, I spent most of the weekend and two nights trying to get it to work, and I think I got a faulty low tail pedal. But you know, we like kids at Christmas, don't you? You buy yourself this stuff and you yeah. want it to work, don't you? And you know, you like. Oh. <laughs> Um, when you sent the pictures in the chat, I, w I wanted it so bad too. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's good gear. It's good. It's good gear. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just um, that that load cell pedal is obviously not working, but um, I can still use it. So. Um, I mean. Um, you have the, the Facebook site, right? To help you yes. with the loads. Uh, may, maybe there are people on there that can help you. Yeah, Dave's been, that's what I was saying with Dave. He's been a great help. He even put a post, because I wasn't a member on that Facebook site at the time. He, he, oh, he put yeah. a post on for me. Um, I think he felt guilty because he said to me, go for it. I sent him a message. I said, should I buy this Fantasex stuff? Is it any good? I mean, it's a lot of money. He went, go for it. Yeah. And I bought it, and it didn't work. <laughs> and he was like, oh no. He's like, no, you can't. No. I was, I was, I was going to send it back. He goes, no, don't send it back. You can't send it back. I feel guilty. But he's, no, he's been a really good help. And that's the community side of it, isn't it? That is the community yeah, side of it. Yeah. It's, um... yeah, everyone helps each other. We, uh, um, oh, Dave going deep again. Um, you, when something is up in life you can just uh, talk with everyone in uh, discord and uh, that's what's so lovely about uh, this group of people so yeah do you know what i like to do though i know it is, is taking a side bit from the racing but um it's one of those races isn't it you know that you get every now and then um oh yeah he's um if i think we should all have a, like, a zoom or team meeting where we all get together and we can see each other with a yeah. with a beer i think so yeah yeah, with a beer, of course. Yeah. Um, I know. Yeah, that, I know the admins know each other. And oh, they've lost, lost, lost it. Dave's not lost it, is he? Oh, he keeps it together, but he lost it. <laughs> but after, he's struggling. Yeah, he's time. struggling. Yeah. But, uh, bless him, Dave. He's a lovely, lovely guy. He, he, he video called me last night, and we went through all the settings um, on the Xbox on my wheel. Uh, Thirty-seven minutes we went through it last night. Eleven o'clock at night. You know, Ooh. he didn't have to do that. <laughs> Was it yeah. It's a lovely help. Uh, I I should guess uh, suggested it a couple of months ago for um, let's make a, a set up a meeting when uh, uh, the lockdown is over for everyone to join in England, for instance. No, I can come to Holland. Why do you want to go to England? I can come to Holland. <laughs> Holland? Yeah, you can come over here. Yeah. <laughs> Go to Amsterdam. <laughs> we'll go to Amsterdam, yeah. <laughs> Dave have uh, Dave has a, a lot of experience in Amsterdam. I know that. I know that. Oh, you do? Does he? I have to talk to him about that tomorrow. Yeah, he, he, <laughs> he sent me a couple of uh, photos uh, of him at the, the coffee shop, but the different kind of coffee. <laughs> he like he like he likes his weed, then does he? That what we trying to say? <laughs> uh, no, I don't know. He he. He suggested something like that. <laughs> 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 it's, 
he was standing with a cup of tea, but he suggested it wasn't tea that was in there. <laughs> was it a specially flavored tea? <laughs> I think so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I do apologise to uh, uh, everyone about that little side show. But anyway, but uh, so what's going on in in the in the race? So uh, yeah, Lord Day now um, that gap is still that four and a half seconds, isn't it? It's not really come down in the last five laps or so. Grimmy as well, still seven seconds behind Smitty and Exo six se seconds behind him. Yeah, but Grimmy's uh, got another Mo. penalty now, though, hasn't he? He's got up to twelve seconds. Oh, we got a bit of from Smitty. Ooh, those inters are not lasting longer than 20 laps then, I think. First one to pit. Uh, doing he's, the yeah, he's the first one to pit out of everyone who's pitted when it started running. Dave's struggling with those rears, isn't he? Look, wow. Ooh. Yeah, that red ball. I mean, does that mean that everyone is going to pit now? Um, with those inters losing grip? Are we gonna see um, an undercut from Smitty, maybe? On the uh, mm. Lord? I mean, the gap between Lord and Smitty is now 25 seconds. Uh, I don't know what the pit stop window is around here. Molly! Damn dog. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just um, talking to our dog there who decided to join up <laughs> on the sofa. <laughs> we got Mo still in the back of AMG, two and a half seconds, still closing in. And um, we got to keep an eye on Smitty if he can close in the gap on... Lord and undercut him. Yeah, just looking at the times, though. Look at the the, the 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 gap to the leader. He's almost yeah. Well, it's over a minute down to the se seventh place. I mean, that's absolutely insane, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And that is the difference, Lord though, isn't no. it? But when you probably put that with penalties corrected, it's probably not. It's going to be a sub minute after that, isn't it? It's going to be under the minute. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, Mini Smoke, I've noticed he's on 27 seconds, so he's got another Ooh. 13, 30, uh, disqualification. 29 laps to go without getting another penalty. Shall we make a bet? Is he going to de uh, disqualify or not? Or well, isn't it 28 to get disqualified? Uh, I think 30, around 30 or 36 maybe. How is it? I is it 30? I'm being told it's 30 by my uh, Lambert's assistant who's sitting next to me. Um, so, I, I'm not, if I'm not it's really 30. Sure. Yeah, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some research. No. Someone's gonna do some research for me. We'll get the answer on that. If it is 30, he's gonna be um, the, disqualifying in around five laps, I think. I mean, Smitty is gaining now on Lord, gain a second this lap. And Lord's not pitted yet, is he? No, he's opted to stay out, and Grimmy is now in the pit as well. Mm. So it is Smithy yeah. inside the pit window. Do we? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm not 100 percent sure what the pit stop time around here is. It like 22 seconds? Uh, yeah, maybe. 22, yeah, it's about 23. 20, 23. It. Yeah, so he's. He's inside his pit window now. Everyone is going in. That means the tyres are go uh, going off. Is Lord then opening in? No, he's still out. He's still out, isn't he? Still, oh, AMG lost it. In the first turn, almost. We got Grimmy with fresh inters on the back of AMG now. Six tenths. So the first real battling for around 15 laps is between Grimmy and AMG around in on the inside. 
Cut back maybe? No, Grimmy has it. Decent overtake in uh, the tricky section. And Smitty is now within 23 seconds of Lord and L. And Lord and L is in the pit, so we're now gonna see if Smitty can take the lead of the race with Lord and L pitting on the inters to the end, I think. Is he gonna go in front of Smitty, behind Smitty? It's Exo in P1 now and Smitty in P2, maybe? It's gonna be close. Lord and L up to speed, Smitty on full speed. Yellow in sector 3, we got mini smoke round, but we got Lord and L and Smitty now within one second. So Lord and L pitted on the right time because if he would have stayed out one lap longer, I think he would have lost out on Smitty. MG in the pits as well, so Exo stays out the longest of all. Maybe stretching those tires so he can take them to the end. Smitty pitted really early, so it's interesting if he can make those tires last another 28 laps. I think if it's gonna stay wet, Smitty is going to be in trouble at the end of the race on tire wear, I think. We got Dave um, still going on on 24 lap old inters yes yeah, smithy now on the back of lord can he keep up with lord or is he going to need to save his tires uh, interesting to see what's going to happen exo now in the pits he's gonna drop back behind grimmy i think Yep. Grimmy back to P3. Nine seconds behind his teammate. Smitty two seconds behind Lord and L is losing time. We got mini smoke on fresh wets. Oh, he lost it. Ooh, mini, mini smoke is struggling on those tires. I think he's struggling all race, but Especially now. Locking up every corner. And yeah, everyone again spacing out. Dave still needs to pit. Uh, we will probably go in the pits right about now, I think. Is he gonna go? No, he st <laughs> stays out. <laughs> The Dave strategy here. Now he's using all of his overtake, so that's probably a sign of him pitting this lap. Used 50% in one straight. Decent. Got AMG 3 seconds, MIDI 2.4 now. We got Lord Anel. Lord Anel is probably gonna win this race. He's been solid all day. Um, started on pole position, kept it in first place, uh, lost it in the dry phase to Smitty, but gained it back again uh, in the wets, and now just need to make sure to keep it um, clean and stay within the white lines, and then take the win probably. And then we got Smitty in second so far, and Grimmy in third. Exo is probably gonna get 4th place, maybe he can catch Grimmy, because Grimmy got 9 seconds more than Exo. Yeah, I've been watching, yeah, I've been watching Dave, he's, um, he's, he's struggling now, those um, 25 lap old uh, intermediates, he's struggling to make the apexes. Yeah, Dave, I think he should be going in now. Oh, Mini Smoke's hit the wall, Mini Smoke has oh. hit the wall. Again? <laughs> Rodenel with another penalty. Ooh. Oh, Mini Smoke struggling as well. Cutting the corner to go in the pits. 
I don't know if he got a set of tires left, to be honest. <laughs> Dave's going around again. Is it I interesting? Is it's interesting. I, I mean, he's sitting down there in, in eighth. It's a solid result. Eighth is no means of disgrace around here today, is it, in these, these conditions? It'd be a solid set of points mm -hmm. with Dave. But what do you think he'd be thinking? What, 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 what? If you're in Dave's position now, what do you think he's thinking? But he's going longer. I mean, I'm hoping he's looking at the tire wear. I'm hoping. Um, um, but do I you think he's st stretching it out so he can make it to the end. I think, or maybe there's gonna be uh, dry conditions again, and he's hoping to make the dry conditions. Hmm. I mean, I mean, the rain stopped a little bit. It. it well, maybe. Uh, it's maybe getting less. Yeah. And maybe he's he's got a weather forecast to say that the crossover will be in ten minutes time. And maybe that's what he's thinking. Yeah. It's interesting, but everyone else bit it, so um Dave should know something else, right? Yeah, yeah, well, that's what this is what I'm trying to think. I, I, I I'm thinking he's down in eighth. What's he gonna gain by staying out of these extra six or seven laps and he's going round again? Um, I mean, I really don't know what he's gaining from it. Maybe you tell us. Maybe you can tell us. Uh, maybe you tell us at the end of the race. We can have a chat with Dave and he may be able to tell us. But um, mm -hmm. uh, also, G-Man staying out. Yeah, I was saying there. One, the, the, the two, the two drivers who stayed out the longest, and they've yeah, 27 and 26 laps respectively. Mo Sullivan in fifth is having a strong race. Yeah, yeah, he gained uh, nine positions in half tower. I mean, decent performance by Mo. I think my driver of the day so far. Yeah. Nothing's so. really still two seconds behind board. Hmm. I mean, everyone is about the same pace. But just spaced out. Yeah, we had a bit of a gap. We, some of those gaps come together, didn't they? A little bit after the pit stops, but now they've kind of gone back to where they were before the pit stops. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just waiting for something. Uh, yeah, maybe the weather. I think. I think it's drying or not. I think it's going to dry up. Yeah. Yeah. It would be mental, wet, dry, wet, dry. Yeah, but uh, it doesn't seem to be raining as heavy. Oh, I think in probably maybe 10 laps time, it, it, it's a possibility. It's a possibility. I'm just throwing it out there. That, but I still don't know. I, the time Dave, really, Dave and G-Man will be losing with those old intermediates compared with the runners in front of them who are on the new intermediates will, will they be enjoying that lap time they'd be getting from the new intermediates. Yeah. Maybe sh they should have fitted as well, because it's now a solid seven laps for Smitty on uh, fresh focus. Oh, yellow in sector three. G-Man is round. Yeah, th th their tyres will be hot and they'll be warm. Yeah, those are done. <laughs> I don't think it's raining now. Oh, it's drizzling, it's drizzling. It's, yeah, it's definitely died down, uh, the rain. And Dave's still going strong on those inters. I mean, if it has a dry ending, maybe uh, no, it's gonna be interesting then. What I mean is, is, is if, if Dave and G-Man have stayed out, that extra time, but they've lost 22 seconds because the other people in front of them have gained 20 seconds by that time, it hasn't really worked for them, has it, if that's what they're thinking? No. No. If that's the way they are thinking, it hasn't worked, no. I mean, Dave now on 20 nap, uh, 29 lap old inters. But the laps are ticking down, and you might be, oh, okay, I'll get there. I've got nothing to lose. It's, it's, um, 
it's, it's bossy, yeah. Yeah, if I, if I make a gamble and I, I, I gain two positions, if I don't do it, and I still stay eight, I mean, yeah. So the interval, uh, yeah. So Smithy and Lord NL were two two point nine hour in the interval between. Yeah, every time Smithy gains something, he's losing it somewhere else. So it's he's hoping for a mistake, I think, now from Lord. Yeah, but it can happen because it happened to Smithy, didn't it? So uh, and that's how Lord NL uh, gained the lead of the race because of. I mean, I mean, if. Lord Nell gets another penalty, Smitty is in first. I think we need to take that in account as well. Absolutely, both yeah, penalties. Nine yeah. Seconds. They're both on nine seconds, absolutely, yeah. I mean, I can take a quick look about how many penalties they... warnings they got. Well, uh, Mini Smoke is now on 30. Lordanel hasn't got a warning since he got his last penalty, and Smitty got one warning since his last penalty, so they're pretty even. Smoke on 30 seconds? Yeah, smoke on 30 seconds. Oh. So, he can have some more. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Smitty and Lord still 2.7, 2.8, and behind them just no one near, and Dave still on those inters. He's persisting with them, isn't he? Mm-hmm. We got the... TV Jack after his crash now uh, sipping a beer <laughs> in front of the TV. <laughs> yeah. Easy. I mean, this race is uh, one thing, something to happen. So. Mm, 20 laps out from the final laps and it's still drying up uh, we're seeing a tiny bit of rain yeah it'd be interesting to see if it stays yeah mini, oh. mini smokes retired um oh he's out is he out or is he disqualified it's virtual safety car oh, that's not what i wanted <laughs> <laughs> you wanted the safety car didn't you yeah, yeah i wanted the safety car <laughs> Uh, Mini Smoke was struggling all day, and uh, I think this is. Uh, it got a little bit too much for him now. Can't we press a button and we can do a safety car? Have we not got that? Oh. <laughs> I, I wish, I wish. <laughs> I mean, for Dave, it's probably the right time to go in the pits. AMG, oh, AMG on the right tires. Oh, so oh, someone's. Got AMG. I'm going to watch ANG. He's taking the gamble. He's gone on to the mediums. Ooh. Mm. That's going to... He's cutting a very nice line in the water there with those tyres. It's... It's... Not dry at all. <laughs> now let's see him turn one. Oh, I'm riding on board with him now. He's very cautious. Third gear. It's not dry, is it? No. It's still raining. Well, he's, he's keeping it together. So. Yeah. Oh, uh. <laughs> it's just understeer city in that car at the minute, so... I mean, if Jeff says it's going to dry in about five minutes, it's a good gamble to take. Yeah, because Jeff's always right. And, um... Because <laughs> we all can vouch for Jeff being right. <laughs> He's always right. <laughs> I mean, oh, Smitty with another penalty. Ooh, that's. 12 seconds, yeah. So, yeah, this is. And Lord Deno is now up to 4.2. 4.3. Yeah. 
I'm I'm gonna stay on to... yeah I'm gonna stay on board with um with uh with reckless um because it's either reckless or genius. Yeah, you know, I, I think reckless at this point because Lord Rikas gained about two or three seconds this lap. It's oh, he's coming, he's coming in, he's he's um uh, he's coming in, he's 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 yeah <laughs> he's gone nah. <laughs> it's, the, it's the wrong decision <laughs> yeah it's the wrong decision but he, uh, I like that I like that he's putting on the wets oh god <laughs> oh it's when uh, I said I liked that, I liked what he did he Too tried it he gambled he put on a tyre and he thought oh, I'll give it a go now he's put the wets on Dave is in Dave is in he did all that just to go on the soft. Dave's gone into the soft. Yeah, let's ride on. With, I'm, I'm going to ride on board with Dave. I'm going to see. Let's see. I mean, <laughs> AMG kept it on track. Dave, I got a little bit less faith in him staying on track at this point. But it's looking that it's drying up. It's, the track is really dry. Yeah, I mean, we will. Let's think about this. If he tries out in the next five laps, he could be really well placed. Mm hmm. I mean, uh, he's fairly good on Toronto. I mean, he's, yeah. Yeah, he's making the apexes, isn't he? And he's making the apex. So it's running wide a little bit there. Let's see. I mean, is he gaining on Roman? That's the question. 3.4. 3.5. Oh, DRS enabled. That's usually the sign of the track drying up. Oh. oh. Those Zessies were extremely oh. difficult. Lord in the pits. I think yeah. everyone is going now. Smitty stays out, so that's not everyone. <laughs> also on soft tires, Lord. We got Grimmy in as well, also on the softs. We got G-Man on the softs. Everyone thinks it's ready for the right tires. Yeah. Everyone on the softs now, except for AMG who's on, on the mediums again. <laughs> Now Reckless has come in again, dumped his wet tyres and gone to the set of medium tyres. He probably dumped two laps ago. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, he should have persevered with it. He should have persevered <laughs> with it. His thinking was good. His thinking was good. Yeah. yeah. He had the right idea and he just should have stuck with it. He should have stuck with it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so who's on the intermediates still? Smithy's still on the intermediates. Lord Riquez is still on the intermediates. A bit of ex yeah. a bit of excitement coming now way I feel. Yeah, we got AMG on the back of Dave, so maybe he can uh, take on the fight with the Red Bull. I wonder if it'll rain before the end of the race. <laughs> I mean, we can go wet, dry, <laughs> wet, dry, wet. <laughs> that would be insane. Yeah, wouldn't it? I mean, I I think this is one of the craziest uh, weather uh, cycles I, I've got to see on this game. Wet, dry, wet, dry. I mean, everyone is taking gambles and um, hoping for time to gain, staying out another lap. I think Smitty lost a lot of time. Yeah, six seconds now, seven. Yeah. Yeah. Smitty lost out. Yeah, it stayed out that extra lap, didn't he? Mm -hmm. It's still AMG very greasy out there, though. Very still greasy. Dave is still struggling to get that power down. Everyone on soft, apart from Reckless, who's um, gone onto those mediums again. I think Reckless lost the plot uh, two laps ago. <laughs> 80 seconds of penalty for him, 12 seconds for Smitty and Grimmy, so uh, their teammates and their 
uh, thinking alike and driving alike at this moment. Uh, Smithy is coming up to lap the Dave as well, I think. Yeah. Smithy lapping Dave. Ooh. Almost, yeah. I mean, they're in the same straight. I mean, AMG on the mediums isn't have, having a good time, or is he? They're going to take a lot longer to come in, in, into the window, aren't they? Um, they'll be good in five laps time, I'm pretty sure. Can can these can these boys get these softs to the end? I think so. I think. So. Yeah, I, I do. I, I do as well. But I, I think those soft, that, those mediums will come in, in into the window op, operating window in another three or four laps. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the track is drying up, uh, and it's getting quicker lap by lap, so... Let's see if someone can close the gap on someone. Yeah, let's have a look down the field. Who, who is... What is a battle we can do? Again, it's fairly... Five, six, seven... Smithy and Grimmy are now... Grimmy's been locked in the 10 second barrier with Smithy pretty much all the race, but that's now down to 5.6, that's the closest it's been all race. Mm -hmm. Kenny gained the time, records with another 3 second time penalty. Oh, and Exo as well. Hi. So we had an interesting beginning with the safety car and a lot of overtakes and then um, I think it's mainly choosing what tire at what moment that um, determined the standing so far. Yeah. Lordenel has been impressive in the wet and uh, is now finishing it off on the dry smitty. Um, stayed out one lap longer on the inters and lost a lot of time, so I think he's probably going to be P2 and Grimmy is going to end maybe in P4. It depends on Exo uh, gaining on Grimmy. It's six seconds on uh, in difference on, in time penalties and yeah, Exo is gaining on Grimmy slowly, so he's hoping to get within six seconds. And AMG is hoping to catch Dave again. Dave with it. Oh, Dave with a penalty. Ah, oh. it's a shame. Fifty-eight laps though. Fifty-eight laps. It is impressive. <laughs> SRC Roman and uh, Lord Riquez are the only ones without penalties now. That is impressive. Uh, uh, yeah. The the discipline. The concentration to do that. Yeah, it's, it's insane. It is, it is, it is, it is, it's, uh, it's, it's clever. I mean, it's. I mean, he's the, uh, Lord Piquet is the master of clean racing, so we expect him to do it every race. <laughs> yeah. And Dave is pedaling it out with. Uh, Smitty, I think it is. Lap down. And he doesn't want to be a lap down. No, I'm on board with Smithy at the moment. Yeah, he's... Uh... I mean, right, yeah, Reckless he's... is uh, gaining on Dave. He's probably uh, feeling his tyres now. Yeah, that's what I said. Once those uh, mediums get into their operating temperature, it, 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 for us yesterday in our race, it was the better tire to finish on. Yeah. Yeah. Our race yesterday probably mimicked this a little bit, not so much by the weather, but by a safety car. And some people went on to some drivers went on to the onto the soft with about yeah. with about twelve, thirteen laps ago, and some of us went on onto the medium, and I went onto the mediums. As did Panda and uh, but Camboy, for example, went on to, on to the soft, and he was faster than us. Overtook all of us, but in the last five laps, we we reeled him in, and he finished, you know, a good five or six seconds down. But um, oh. so it would be interesting to see how these softs.
do in the next 11 laps. Yeah, yeah. I think they can make it, I, I think, easily. But uh, the question is, can AMG get on the back of Dave, overtake him? And uh, I, I think it's the only battle uh, we're going to have for the rest of this race. At, unless there's a safety car now. I mean, G-Man, podium sitter, now uh, one minute behind everyone at the back. Uh, Roman is driving around. Had some close battling, but is now uh, in ninth. AMG is looking to overtake Dave, and we got Lord Riquez. Um, the championship leader, and uh, just behind everyone in sixth. I mean, Bird crashed out in lap 4 and Bird is second in the championship, so I think Lord Cass is just thinking I need to keep it clean and um, get a solid finish. haul of points. Mm -hmm. A solid haul of I points, mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, he had, over the course of this race, Lord Cass had no warnings at all. <laughs> That's impressive, Jesus. Not even a warning. Not even a warning, no. <laughs> That's insane. It's actually insane. Yeah, it's it, it beggars belief. It's just, is he human? Actually, can we get a D no. can we get can we get a DNA uh, <laughs> test on uh, Lord Requestians? <laughs> uh, he's not from here. Uh, no, definitely not. No. Yeah, he's from Mars or so, so somewhere. Yeah, he's not from here. I'm. I've never had the pleasure of actually watching him race, but just I'm I'm gonna do a few I'm gonna do a few laps with him on board and see. Let's see if how he manages to keep it within the white line. I mean, it's a skill uh, that not many people have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have to. Uh, Lord Rakez's skill is clean consistency lap after lap after lap and some people pride themselves in blistering pace smithy's got blistering pace mm -hmm. um you've got blistering pace um <laughs> not always <laughs> no no maybe no, no but you you you, you you you're fast uh you're quick um mm -hmm. uh, but I, you you probably won't see <laughs> lord request at the top of q1 or q2 or whatever but I'm watching no, it. I'm watching him now. He, he's he's just clean, Looks so methodical. Easy. Yeah. yeah. He's easy on throttle, easy on the brakes, um, clipping every apex. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's 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 a gift, really. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can keep it clean, but I'm not that consistent as Lord Riquez, and uh, I think that's the difference between Division 1 and 2 uh, for me and him. So so what what league is um, Lord Riquez in? Uh, the Sunday and the Tuesday, and the Sunday he's in Division 1. Ah, okay. And I think uh, we had... I think he has... 30 points from clean racing, so every race he has cle clean, so yeah. And we yeah. got XOO on the back of Grimmy, the first fight in, what, 20 laps? <laughs> let's it feels let's like Let's see what happens here. Yeah, it feels like ages, yeah. Let's see if EXO can do something uh, to Grimmy. Grimmy feeling his tires already, I think. He's probably going to overtake Grimmy on the main straight with DRS. Or on at the end of the S's. Left, right. Oh, Roman with penalty. First penalty for him. Yeah, he's going to overtake here, I think. Grimmy defensive. Exo on the outside. Close. Oh, he gets the move done around the outside. Impressive. Yeah. Someone is off. G-Man is off. In the wall. 
Oh, he spins. Jesus. <laughs> How did he end up there? <laughs> Exo with a great overtake on Grimmy. Round the outside in the third sector. Hey, um, Grimmy's got 15 seconds of penalty, so it was a. Uh, Exo was always provisional. Uh, no. A net P3 yeah, there, wasn't he? It's like you did yesterday. You won, yeah. uh, won to be the first to finish. Yeah. Grimmy needs to save his ERS now and uh, stick within the DRS of uh, Exo and hope that he can overtake in the last seven laps. But he's already outside one second. So, I, I, going back to um, the consistency of Lord Lord uh, Riquez, I watched his last three laps and he was 0. 0.2 tenths of a second every lap. Oh, that's insane. And clean. And, and clean, yeah, yeah. A total consistency. Hitting every apex. And, and he was plus 2 tenths of a second of each lap. Decent. We got Dave still behind Smitty and lap down. <laughs> still <laughs> fighting like he's not a lap down. <laughs> and don't you just love that? It's just personal pride, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, if wow, he's he's, height yeah, he's, he, he's fighting, isn't he? I mean, he went deep there on the brakes. Grimmy 1.6, yeah. MG 5 seconds behind Dave. I mean, Dave has uh, the DRS now from Smitty every lap, so it's only helping him to uh, stay away from MG. Still within the DRS. I mean, yeah. Lord is the only one without penalties today, so that's the difference between everybody here. Yeah, it's well, we got we got we've got two Lords in. One's got twelve. One's got none. Dave using that DRS to great effect. <laughs> Again, trying to overtake Smitty. Let's let's just do if it's for first place. <laughs> Dave on the back of Smitty. When you feel Smithy, you just sit in their car and you think, what are you doing, mate? Yeah. <laughs> Smitty is probably uh, screaming at Dave to stop. <laughs> yeah, you're distracting me. I know you're lapped down, yeah. but you're distracting me. You're being a pain. And it's great to see. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, lo we love it. We love it, absolutely. Right set of S's there through Dave. <laughs> he says, <laughs> on the inside, no. Yeah, I'll, I'll just put myself here and you know, in your mirrors, you know, so you can see me. <laughs> know that I'm here. Make a mistake. Still on the back of screen. Dave using all his overtake. I think he's going to do it now. He's, oh, he's obviously going to get the. I'll be, we're talking about someone unlapping themselves, but it's great to see. I just like the uh, character. On the inside. Yeah, I just like the character. He's done before he even gets to the breaking point. But I like the character. I like that. I like it's that. A, it's a it's a pride thing now. It's, it's a pride it's, thing. He's doing it for pride. Yeah. And, 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 and it's me oh. There he goes. There you go. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm I coming mean, back. It's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not having this, just stay there. Yeah. No, your station. But Dave's like, don't know my station. I'm coming back. And he will through the S's. Dave is very, and a bit of a tail slapper there from Smithy coming out of there. Oh, he's pushing, he's pushing. They're both pushing. This is good. This is good. Ooh, a downshift from. from there. Probably the most. Pathetic DRS straight in F1, mm -hmm. along with the Monaco straight. 
Dave again. Oh, Stay close as well. I mean, we're lucky that ghosting is off. <laughs> yeah. There goes Dave again, closing in on Smitty. Mm, How far was he down that straight? Oh, when he come off on the, the inside? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, Dave. Cutting the corner. <laughs> I mean, this is probably the final time Dave is within one second of Smitty. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, I didn't. <laughs> He's just enjoying the moment, I think. He'll hunt us down for something. He'll eh? hunt you down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, he can come to uh, Holland. Uh, well, he's not far away. He? He's only across the water. Oh, no. He's only in Portsmouth, so he's not far away. First position, 12 seconds of penalties, then Smitty with 15, and Exo is 9 seconds behind Smitty, so if Exo gains 4 tenths in the last 2 laps, he takes second place today. Yeah. Then we, then we got Grimmy and Mo, and then a big gap to Rodriguez, and then Dave, AMG, and Roman g -Man. closes the grid in the last so yeah, Exo now within 9 seconds, so that's at this moment in time He's P2. in that he's in that P2, yeah. So our podium's looking to be Smithy, Exo and Lord NL. Yeah. Yeah. And Lord NL um, is probably thinking what snack am I going to have before I go to bed uh, now because he is ten seconds away from everyone. Can't watch XO, he's got the glitch. <laughs> oh, the sound glitch. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's terrible. He's uh Smitty's still fighting for the uh, those nine seconds. One mistake from Exo and um, he loses P2, so oh. it's, it's not a battle but it's a battle from a distance. Yeah. Four tenths, fi uh, final two laps. Dave's still on the back of Smitty. <laughs> Just a little bit further away now. I mean, 8.5, one and a half left to go. Exo has 15% ERS, Smitty also 15%. Yeah, um, Lord Denel is single digits, eight. Yeah, he's uh, almost on the final lap now. Just about taking it home. Don't fuck it up. I don't think me and you, do, me and you would get a job on Sky Sports, do you? No, 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 no. Because no. <laughs> we keep dropping the F-bomb and... Um, we mentioned weed, which I don't think David Croft and uh, Martin Bundle will ever talk about, but uh, um, oh, yeah, they're like boring compared to us, now. you know, we're, you know, <laughs> what do they know about motorsport? What do they know about motorsport? <laughs> I mean, uh, you, <laughs> we, we talked about uh, Covid, we talk, talked about Dave's adventures in Amsterdam, Amsterdam. but we also, we also had the good talk about Lord Riquez, uh keeping it clean all right. Absolutely, yeah. Um, we got the fuck ups from TFA Jack going on hard tires in the wet. Um, yeah. What more did we got? We got the wet tire gambles that uh, didn't pay off. <laughs> And yeah, Lord and L is keeping it clean all race, uh, winning this Grand Prix probably, going into the last sector now. Yeah, he's in if through the S's, he's nice and clean, he's, he's, he's had this Grand Prix down to a T, hasn't he? He's been... Yeah, he's, he's been I insane. know he's had his penalties, but 
they come with the game. They come with the game. Unless your name's Ward Request, obviously, which they don't come with the game. He also, he's, he's obviously bought F1 2020, 2020 without the penalty edition. Yeah. And he? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, and he does his little wiggle over the there line. He yeah. Very nice. He's a Very Lord nice. L, winner of the Mexican Grand Prix. And, and Smithy, Smithy crosses is... the line. Now, there you in go, Smithy. In provisional second. Wait for Exo, Exo to probably. wait for Exo now. He's got the glitch. There you go. That's what we thought. Yeah. That's what P2 we thought. P2 for Exo. P2 for Exo, yeah. And Grimmy in the end finishing in P4 and Mo Sullivan, I think our driver of the day. Yeah. Finishing in P5 if he keeps it out of the wall, of course. But Watching Mo now, he's coming into the stadium section now. Purple, Hits, uh, yeah. Purple sector. Yeah, he's. Is he going to go for the fastest lap? I think he is, you know. He I think he is. He, 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 the stadium he, section he's, was. was oh, oh he's yeah, he's lit up oh, the Jesus timing screen. Purple, Mo Sullivan, Doff of Caps user. That Let's was go. a. He done the match with Stappen. He done a max for step and uh, final lap, quickest of the day. And that was it. We're gonna invite Lord Enel, uh, Exo, and Smitty. Uh, and guess who? Uh, the actual the, the Cody's has got the driver of the day, Mo Sullivan. That's what so me and you both had. Yeah. So uh, Cody's, for the first time in our life, is agreeing with what, with what us. we are saying. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Maybe they should invite us on to the next game so we can help them code. <laughs> and commentate. And commentate. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So the top three is uh, Lord and L, and in second we got Exo and Smitty. In third, I will invite them to the party. If I know how to do that. I'll leave that down to you. You're far more technical than I am. Um, do you got Smitty on the Xbox? I do I believe? Um, so let's have a look here. Then I will invite EXO. I uh, know not to the game, to the party. No, to invite more. To the rain stop, um, <laughs> and I was really lucky for it. Otherwise, there was no chance of me catching um, Smithy and them. Yeah, yeah you, did, uh, you gained about 15 seconds uh, on them in uh, the last dry stint. I think. Yes, something like yeah. that. Yeah, decent. Yeah, so we, got, so we got Smithy in. Smithy, can you hear us? Yes, I've been good. My audio, how is everyone? Oh, yeah, good that was. You, uh, that was a crazy race, wasn't it? Started off wet, dry, back to wet. It's, yeah, um, I, um, I was looking at Lord Darnell for most of the race, and he was just too fast for me. Just kept pulling. I just didn't have the, the speed down the straights to challenge and put him under pressure enough to make a mistake. So then I started consolidating second, and then I started looking behind me because of the penalties. And I knew I had to try and keep a nine-second gap. And I came out of the pits, and I was like 19 seconds ahead of Exo. And then in the end, he's like eight seconds. So, like, oh my God, he's just that last 12 to 15 laps. He just put in some monster laps and yeah, closed yeah. down Grimmy, took him easy. And then I just kept looking at the times coming down and down. And it went under nine. I went, he won't be chuffed with that so. comment, will he, Smithy? Took him easy, Grimmy. Yeah, he won't be. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> he won't I, be taking that like this. I hope you guys got it on um, on on stream because it was a beautiful pass around <laughs> the outside. Yeah, 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 we got it. We got awesome. it. Awesome, awesome. So, Smithy, um, 
during the end there, I mean, we, we, you put a lap on 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 Dave, the old timer Dave, along with me, the old timer of, uh, of 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 our league. Um, <laughs> he, he he wanted to stay with you. Did you find that as a distraction at all? Because um, he kept trying to unlap himself. He did for a bit, and then you know, did you find that as a distraction in the last laps? Not really. I just wish he was a bit faster and took me so I could use his DRS. But he just kept staying behind, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, yeah. We, we do ask for people not to mess about there, but it's difficult. He's in a Red Bull. So I'd, I'd close, I'd take off nine tenths from him for the lap. Then down the straights, he's right back on me again. But yeah, I think I would have preferred him being in front of me. Uh, yeah. Each DRS zone, it might have given me an extra second over the, the race, which might have been enough to get that nine seconds on XO. But yeah, it, it's okay. Yeah, better race today though, Smithy. Yeah, with the penalties, you know, it was um, compared to last week. He, you seem to have that little bit of under control. <laughs> I can't even moan about the twenty-seven last week, but fifth. You know what? I've seen him mistakes as well. I, um, if you saw when I was in the lead of Lord Darnell, I, I had a bit of a wobble moment, didn't I? And that gave me a penalty as I yeah. went off at the S's oh. when he took over. Which so that was a bit of a nine-one, but yeah, the other twelve are absolutely, you know, my fault and building up. I remember when Exo got his six seconds, I was on twelve. I was like, yes, come on! <laughs> and then literally two corners later, I got my fifteenth. I was like, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. We, 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 yeah. Cool. <laughs> no, you off you go. Oh uh, yeah, we we looked uh, on board with Lord Vikas, and every lap he was hitting apex after apex uh, the same way and keeping the times consistent, and he had no warnings in the end. So yeah, uh, he's just an alien uh, on that. Uh, yeah, we, yeah, we, that yeah. Me and Heisenberg have concluded he's not from this earth. So uh, oh, <laughs> uh, Lord Vikas, yeah, I, I watched him yeah. on board for about five laps nearly near the end, and he was. Apex after apex, and within plus two turns for a second every lap. I mean, it's a consistency, isn't it? And that's what we all yeah. strive for, I think, is, is, is trying to be quick and be consistent at the same time. But um, great race. It was a great race. It, it, it had its moments. It, 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 during, the, during, during the middle part of the race, it was the gaps between the drivers was five, six seconds, and then the pit stops would happen, then the rain would come and everything else, and it bunch it up a little bit. But it, it, it come to life at the end. You know, I, I made a massive mistake that first putting round to not go on to the softs. Um, that was that was quite stupid of me. Um, yeah. Would have been would have been better. Yeah. Would have been looking better now. I might actually have been able to challenge Lord Ronell if I didn't go on to the mediums. Mm. I mean, you you could have done a uh, uh, TFA jack and uh, go on hard, hard well, in well, yeah. the condition. <laughs> Shame, I felt bad for him, and he actually crashed out right in front of me. Um, oh yeah. yeah, I just lost lost the back end or on 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 one of the curbs. Um, which, uh, yeah, felt bad for the guy. Do, yeah, uh, do you know what happened to Bert actually on the beginning? Of the um, race? I don't know exactly what happened, but it, I know it was between him and uh, Roman. Um, he, he he just said that he went he went more right and then Roman kept on pushing him more right and more right. He had nowhere to go anymore. Um, so I don't know. I'm sure we'll see we'll see something in the in the incident report tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm interested to see the start of the race actually because uh, I was challenging. I actually got a really great start and I was ahead of Star now and then the engine power took over. I took him ahead and then on this third corner. Ajax on the side of me, but I already had the line, so I think I squeezed him off the track a little bit. I'm not sure if he got damage at that point. I'm not sure if you guys caught that bit or if you're at the back of the grid. Uh, no, I, he didn't have damage, I think. He also didn't change his wing, so... Oh, great, then, okay. So it's just more of a push wide by me, which I'll take. I was sitting there with Grimmie, I'm yeah. not sure if I put you... It's a first lap, isn't it? It's a first yeah. lap. I mean, you know, you can put that down as a racing army, really. First lap. Unless, uh, unless you torpedo he, someone, which is... He, uh, you know. nah, he pushed him uh, like <laughs> two car lengths off track uh, at one point, so... <laughs> I don't know, but he stayed uh, within uh, you and EXO, so I think it's all fine in the end. Perfect. Well, well done, boys. Yeah, I I mean, so. yeah, Grimmie, Grimmie had a monster start. I mean, he, he, he got in front of me. Um, Oh, look, I, I, I start always bad. I don't know how to start properly. But he had a monster yeah. start. I mean, he was, I think he was like 8th or ninth, somewhere like around there. And he was 
fourth or fifth after turn one. Yeah, you gain, you gain like f five positions. Mm. Yeah, that was insane. So yeah. flying yeah. in the beginning. Ah, uh, definitely. That's it. Yeah. Thanks, um, guys. Yeah, well yeah, done, boys. Uh, I mean, it was um, yeah, it was a interesting race. It was full of full of some events, and uh, yeah, the, the the weather helped. So, um, yes. hungry, <laughs> hungry next week, is it? Hungary, yes. Um, yeah. One of my favourite tracks. Um, looking forward to it quite a lot, actually. Oh, well, we'll so, yeah. look next, we look forward to next week then. So, uh, thanks, gents. Yeah, yeah, That's we'll good. And we, um, and we see you all next week. Cheers, guys. Have a good night. Thanks, lads. Till up. Bye bye. Cheers, guys.